Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tactical Magic Podcast. I am super excited for this episode today because I've got a brilliant mind on the line with me and someone who, if you've been listening to this podcast um, religiously, so to speak, you would have heard (laughs) from Anne before. Um, But I'm having her on again today because um, she's doing something really exciting and I wanted to make sure that y'all heard about it and um, got in on it because it's... um, a game-changing tactic that's about to be revealed on this episode and in the coming couple weeks. It's not just about mastering technology. It's not just about brand or messaging. It's not just about making more money. It's about showing up in a big way so your people can find you. This is about bringing your most wild and authentic self into the hustle and grind. Welcome to Tactical Magic, a business strategies podcast for the warrior goddess entrepreneur. So Anne is a amazing healer. She she grew a six figure business as a heart centered um, holistic practitioner and then decided she had a knack for teaching sales to us heart centered folk. And so she shifted her focus and now helps um, brilliant heart centered practitioners to grow their businesses and master their sales techniques so that they can actually make the difference that they're here to make and do that from a place of alignment and integrity and staying true to your values, which I know is super important to probably the majority of you out there listening right now. So Anne, welcome back to the show. Would you, do you want to tell people a little bit about who you are and what you do? Sure, I'd love to. It's great to be back. I always love hanging with you, Molly. So um, we have a lot of fun together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm a, I'm, I am, I'm a medical intuitive and energy healer. I got all the woo going on, you know, I've been doing stuff like that for like 30 years or more on all kinds of different things. Um, but I am also um, a sales expert and I'm, I'm turns out really, really good at sales. I have, um, you know, no exaggeration. I have like millions of sales to my name, millions in sales to my name. And, um, you know, as, as you've probably noticed, those two things don't tend to go together very often. So I just felt like I really wanted to, I want to help other people like me who are, who are healers, who are uh, coaches, who have, you know, amazing gifts for the world, but who usually really, really struggle when it comes to actually selling them to spitting the words out to, you know, if you, if you've ever had someone uh, ask about uh, working with you and that sounds great, what do you charge? And you go like, um, uh, you, you know, like then you're who I'm talking to. <laughs> um, Cause it's really hard. It can be very, very hard to, to, make that shift and it's it's internal blocks it's external blocks i like to say i help people who are allergic to sales and help them not be allergic to sales anymore so they can be effective and they can actually make a living doing the work that they love to do i love it so that's what i do it's awesome (laughs) and you're darn good at it too and what's cool is something's coming up that i think is like a smaller bite rather than saying I need to learn how to do all of my sales better right now. You're about to share Mm -hmm. some resources that are going to give people like a kind of immediate leg up. Like, yes, master sales in your business. Yes, support yourself with the tools to have those uncomfortable conversations about money. And there is probably a lot of money being just simply left on the table right now in the majority of businesses out there because they're not doing this one thing. So want to reveal what one thing we're talking about? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, it's, it's client referrals, Fire, referrals from the people who are already your clients and they already love you. Why referrals are important. Well, I mean, one of the things about referrals is that they tend to make the best clients, right? Because they're already they're already predisposed to like you and trust you because they've heard about you from someone that they like and trust. So there's just that there's a bit of an built-in immediate rapport that's there. So they're more likely to sign up with you. They're also more likely to refer other people to you because that's how they found you. Um, and they're free. <laughs> you know? So um, it's, it's kind of crazy. If you look across, not just healers and coaches and like heart center entrepreneurs, but really across pretty much every industry, most people don't ask for referrals. It's just like, it's a place where even though logically you can see that it just would make so much sense, they're the best clients, yeah, da, 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 but we get stuck. We get like, we don't want to do it, right? There's something there and there were like, 
feels uncomfortable. We don't want to look needy. We don't want to screw up our relationship with the existing client. Like all these things will come up and stop us. And so then we're stuck with just a few what I would call passive referrals you know, that they do get sent to you. And we could be having this like pipeline of active referrals if we put something in place to create that. So that's what this training is all about. Totally. And I mean, I think there's just an underlying false belief in there also that to ask someone for a favor like that, like, hey, if you're enjoying this work, like, would you tell a couple friends about it? Or would you refer one person to receive their free session or whatever the case may be, that we feel like that's an imposition on someone? When in reality, if somebody asks you for a favor, and you get to contribute to their world in an easy way, it feels like a gift. It feels like a gift to get to show up for someone, to get to contribute to their world, to get to also share an amazing resource with a loved one because you've been having this beautiful transformation over here with your new coach or facilitator or guide or whoever, your healer, that there's like a win, win, win aspect to it that I think you are basically ignoring that that win, win, win is there. If you're not asking for referrals, you're pretending like it would be a take instead of a contribution to that person to get to refer to you. Completely. completely. And think about it. Like if you've had transformational work done with someone, whether it's a coach or healer or whatever, or something like that, is it, isn't there somewhere in your mind? Like I wish everyone in my life would do this, right? Partly because you love them. And partly because your life would be so much better if all the other people in your life also, you know, had some clap, you know, some crap cleared out. It right, like really, you you truly like if your client also their husband or their wife or their mom or their whatever also got transformation, is that going to make your client's life better? Of course. (laughs) Yeah, and imagine the ripple effect of that when everybody in that community is now vibrating on a different level. There's going to be a bigger impact and I mean, a global impact at some point when we hit that tipping point and everybody wakes up and heals my Mm -hmm. goodness. Um, I also just want to go back to the idea of a referral in general, because there is this thing like, yes, as an entrepreneur, we're encouraged to invest in ourselves, to master skills, to market our businesses, to maybe pay for advertising or pay to be on stage or pay for, you know, Facebook ads or pay to boost our posts or whatever the thing is, whether it's energetic, like action taking or whether it's literally financial dollars being spent, it costs Mm -hmm. something to get yourself out into the world. And yet it is so much more impactful when someone else raves about you than when you talk about yourself. Like if you go to a networking event and your friend is like, Hey, you have to go talk to Anne. She's amazing. You're much more interested in what Anne has to say than if Anne just walked up to you and was like, hi, I'm Anne. Yeah, it's absolutely. Way talking. more likely. Yeah, that to, social to aspect. Completely. Social yeah, proof. Completely true. And so it's like, so it's like this, this, you know, as I was creating this training, you know, it was sort of like, it was really interesting for me to like delve into that and really get like, wow, the like the depth and the level of the of the resistance and the concern and the limiting beliefs and stuff that are there was like really rich. Right? Um, and that's why I designed it the way that I did, because I, so I, I would summarize it. I think you could, I think you could say all of the blocks to asking for referrals, even though we know we'd love to get referrals, all the blocks of actually being an action to ask for them kind of in two, two buckets, right? Fears, fears, concerns, and beliefs, so I don't want to look needy, I don't know what, all that stuff. And I don't, just, I don't know what to do. Like, that's the other bucket. Like, what do I say? How do I? What are the, like, mechanics of it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you kind of have to address both. If you just work on the fears, but you don't give, like, some of the tools, um, you know, you might feel better, but you're still not going to be very effective. And if if you just give tools and you don't address all the inner crap, those are great tools, but I'm never going to use them. (laughs) Right? So... um, so this uh, referrals made easy, you know, five day challenge is uh, about both. It's working on both of these things. And it's, it's really eye opening as people start to get and, I, and identify like, oh, that's what's holding me back, right? That's that thing that's been there since I was five or whatever. 
Um, and then I walk through really what you want with referrals in a nutshell is you want to make it actually very easy for your client. You want to make it easy, easy, easy for the client to refer someone to you, mm-hmm. which means you need to actually have a meaningful conversation with them about, you know, who they want to refer and why it means you need to give them language to you. So that we have a hard enough tra- time to describe what we do. How, how are we expecting our clients to be able to do it? Anyway, so you actually, actually provide them with the language um, to use. And so I have a kind of process for doing that, but they can still tweak, but it's like, when they, it's, you just, it, you, you, it's really like about having a system for getting referrals that keeps it top of mind, that makes it very, very heart centered. It's all about the relationship and uh, makes it super, super simple for the client. Because when it's super simple for them and they feel really good about it, they're just going to do it. They're going to do it. And when that person shows up from the referral, it's Mm -hmm. so much easier for that conversation, that consult, that discovery call is so much easier when that person is already primed for a working relationship. They've already asked their friend a bunch of questions. They're only showing up to that call because they're leaning in already. And yeah, I love that. And I love, yes, it's so, (laughs) I mean, both of us are in business because it's challenging for entrepreneurs to talk about themselves and challenging for them to showcase their worth. It Mm -hmm. is hard to talk about what you do, but there are, I mean, if you have any clients to be sending referrals your way, then you figured out at least a little bit about how to talk about what you do. And absolutely, that yeah. language is what your clients need to know so that they even send the right people to you. Exactly. Right. So give them some. Have you ever had a client ask you like, well, I have this friend she's dealing with X, Y, Z. Can you help with that? And you're like, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right? what I do. But they actually didn't know that you could do that. Right. Like I have in my energy healing work and I, I still do that. Um, I, I have a specialty. I work with anybody who wants to work with me, but um, I have a specialty with um, pregnancy nausea. So lots and lots of people, if you Google like energy healing pregnancy nausea, I'm going to pop up right away. And um, so, but the, and that's great. And I love doing that. Uh, but, uh, but then sometimes they're like, oh, well, can you help my husband with something? And I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> so I have to like make sure they know. So people, they come to you for one thing. One of the things you need to do is actually educate your current clients about all the other things that you can do for people that yeah. may not be for them. Right? Absolutely. If you do that, it's, it's like a, they, they like literally, they might literally refer their friend or husband or whoever to someone else just because they don't think you do it. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> I guess I should have told you. <laughs> yeah. So building in that conversation as part of your practice becomes Mm -hmm. just once you have a system for that, then it becomes a habit. Then everyone who works with you knows who to refer to you and it just becomes that much easier. You can see, I mean, I I can start to see even more how there's this snowballing effect to the whole process where Mm -hmm. once you get the hang of it, it becomes second nature. It just becomes a part of your income stream that referrals happen, that referrals come to you, that your clients refer to you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, I get, I get new referrals every single month. Yeah. And that's like a compounding effect because if every person who comes to you is now a good referral partner, then they tell two friends and they two tell two friends and so on and so on. So on and so on. <laughs> that's so, what it works. Yeah. <laughs> we're, so totally that's dating, we're dating ourselves, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's true. And it's, it's satisfying to think about that compounding effect. Um, yeah. So everyone out there, if we're going to give you a one little homework assignment, which we're going to like invite you to something in a second, but just think about the ripple effect of the work that you're, that you're doing right now and who is out there already receiving it and who is out there wishing they were receiving it. Like someone is out there literally waiting for a facilitator, a guide, a healer, a mentor, a coach like you to show up in their lives. And it could be one conversation away one friend mentioning you away from them receiving the contribution of your work in their lives and if all it takes is you asking for referrals to gift that person the transformation they've been praying for then it's time we get out of our own way and actually do that yeah make, make that yeah. ask invite you people clients, to your clients love you you know they want to support you you know you I mean, you know, a great, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you a little something to say that, you know, like a great thing to say is, is to tell them, tell a client how much you appreciate working with them because you do, 
and to simply say, you know, my favorite way of getting clients is to have them referred by clients that, you know, are enjoying the work that we're doing together. So I just want you to know that's my, I'd way rather get someone from that than from Google or anything else. And so if you ever have, right. And just let them know, you sort of just let it, it doesn't, it just seems sort of more natural. Like, of course that would be your favorite way to get clients. Right. But it puts that in their mind and they're like, yeah. (laughs) I'm curious, how often do you do, do you contribute back to the client who referred someone to you? Like, I know some people do some, I mean, for me, a lot of my clients are also transformational leaders and coaches. So some of them just want to be an affiliate for me and affiliates Mm -hmm. get a commission on people they send my way, but not all of my clients necessarily want to be an affiliate. So, Mm -hmm. you know, do you increase that or encourage people to do some sort of a bigger win, win, win scenario when they're asking for referrals? Um, I don't typically, I'm not against it. I think it's, 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 it needs, it needs to be individual. Certainly there's some you know, and there's some professions where you like can't do that, you know, so stuff in the medical field, right? Like doctors are like, that's completely illegal for them to get some, any kind of referral fee, right? Um, and therapists and things like that. Um, I, so I'll tell you my basic take on it is that people are going to refer someone to you because it's someone they care about and they want that person to get the results. And any sort of like reward or something that you would give, they're not going to make a referral because of the reward if they don't want the result of you working with their friend, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, it, to me, it's just very clean that I don't typically do that. Now, if someone asked, like if someone said, hey, you know, I've, I've sent you three people and I was wondering, you know, is there, is there anything? I would be like, yeah, totally. Let me give you a bonus session. Or, you know, like I, I, I be, I'd be happy to, but it just, this is me. Okay. But it's kind of like an energetically thing is like, I don't like want that to be part of what's making the decision for them. I want it to just be because they and I are looking together at like their friend or their mom. And we're looking together and we're kind of creating together what's possible for that person. And inside of that space, it's not about any of that. It's just about what they want for yeah. the person they care about. That makes sense. So yeah, I'm not opposed to it. It's just, I don't, I don't find that I need to. Yeah. You don't have and, to incentivize uh, people when you're, when the gift of yeah. your work is. Yeah. yeah. And if someone, if, if someone like, likes doing that, it's like, it's totally working for them. It's totally aligned for them. I'm hundred percent behind that. It's just not yeah. something that I typically do. I think that is a great, just guidepost is, does it feel aligned? Does it feel authentic? Does it feel like you're in integrity when you phrase it that way? And if not, then do it a different way. Yeah, exactly. I think for a lot of people, if they're looking at that, because I've had people ask me that, you know, quite a few times, I, and I'm, I'm not saying that's where you were coming from, because I don't think it was, but I definitely have had people ask me that where I think that where it was coming from was that thing you said at the beginning about like feeling like you're asking for a favor and right. therefore you, you have, have to, to balance it out. like reward, you have to balance it. And so um, I think that's probably as I'm looking at it right now for myself, I think that's fundamentally why I don't do that because I don't think that they're doing me a favor. I appreciate it. And they're, you know, but I, um, I don't feel like that's what's needed because it's, it, cause where I'm coming from is like, it's, it is win, win, win already. Yeah. From generosity. Totally. Okay. So you teased this five day challenge. It's coming up. (laughs) If y'all are listening to this podcast in real time, it is coming up next Monday. If you are not listening to this podcast in real time and you are listening to it in the future, you might have to wait until the next time, hopefully, and runs this, this five day challenge, but um, tell us more about it. What, what, what yeah, absolutely. happen? And in between when I run it, you know, if you still go to that sign up page, you'll find out more about what I do and you can join my Facebook group so that the page will reflect what's happening. But so, um, so this is a free five day challenge called referrals made easy five day business breakthrough. And it really is about that. It's, it's about breaking down what it is, what it is that makes for um, active, proactive referrals. And, and getting into that inner game where you're screwing yourself up and you're, you know, getting stopped by just having a thought about what will they think or blah, 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 or I don't want to impose or, you know, all of those things actually, you know, getting all of that cleared out of the way, but also very nuts and bolts. Like what's the process that then really works? The idea is that at the end, you have everything you need to have your own, what I would call proactive referral system. So, and that it's actually systemized. You know what to say, you know when to say it. It's all about connection. It's all about coming from the heart. So I'm going to teach you 
teach you things, but also take you through it. It's really a transformational process. And people have done this before. They've just been like, you know, changed my life kind of thing because it, because it's going really deep because, you know, because I'm the woo. <laughs> I'm never going to just give you the tools. I'm going to, I'm also going to go in deep and figure out what's going on. Right. So it's, it's a really is a pretty transformational experience to go through and, and like engage with what's there. And people just, you know, are really love. It just, it just transforms the whole relationship to getting referrals to the one that's one of empowerment and, it, and simplicity and it just makes sense rather than this thing that you're like, I know I'm supposed to be doing that, but it, it, it's just how most people are with it. So yeah, it's, it's over five days. It's hundred percent free. Um, it just, you know, a few minutes a day, I think the longest video is like 20 minutes. Most of them are a lot, much shorter. Um, and, um, there's prizes, you know, like we do with our five day challenges and you're going to connect with the whole community. We'll do a live Q and a call. Um, part way through the week and um, like you you take this on you'll have new referrals soon maybe even by the end of the week <laughs> that would be amazing how fun would that be just imagine the end of next week more referrals more calls on your calendar more potential new clients coming in um, yes and- yeah. so when they come in and say like oh my they're already so excited to work with you because of you know their friend who recommended their house like I can't wait <laughs> Yeah. Like, who wants to like that? <laughs> I love it. Awesome. And I mean, who doesn't want to learn sales and business and stuff from someone who's also magical and tuned in and conscious and awake? And I think that's why my clients come to me. And I know that's why your clients come to you. And I'm sure people out there listening to Tactical Magic Podcast are in the mm-hmm. same boat that we like to do both. We like to be strategic and mindful and also um, awake and using all of our magical tools in the process. So I know that the transformation is, you know, not just the icing on the cake, but it's an integral part of the process. We're going to give you guys the link to join this five day challenge in the show notes of this episode and any last words of wisdom you want to leave people with Anne? um, just, you know, it really is about clearing the stuff out of the way. So you can just be yourself and be like fully present in the moment. And what happens when we, when we're, we have this complicated, difficult relationship with sales, whether it's because referrals is about sales and I think it's like, it's like we're gone. It just yanks us out of the conversation. And the person we're talking to is left with like, Oh, who are you? You know, like they were having this nice conversation and then sales came up and you left. (laughs) Right. And so this is really about like, you don't have to leave anymore when price gets mentioned or referrals gets mentioned, or now it's about working with you. You can actually just still be completely present in the moment, having still a great, juicy, wonderful, connected conversation with someone that leads to them wanting to work with you. And it's like, it's the best. The best. I love it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anne, for being on the show. And I'm super excited for your challenge. I know a lot of people are going to get so much out of it. And I have already signed up or if I haven't, I'll double check and make sure that I'm signed (laughs) up too, because I could always use more referrals who couldn't. Of course we could. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you everyone out there for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe, rate, review the show and make sure to click open the show notes wherever you're watching this episode, listening to this episode so that you can find that link and join the five day challenge next week about getting more referrals right now because you deserve it. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. And have a wonderful day. Whatever happens, keep asking big questions and taking bold action because you are here for a reason. Bye.